All right, guys, so today's video, we have something a little bit different. We're still talking about audio, but today we're gonna look at what is advertised as the loudest Bluetooth speaker you can buy. So we're gonna look at the Soundbox 3, but we're not only looking at one speaker, we're looking at two of them. And I'll explain why I have two in just a minute, but these do retail for $1,000 a piece. So they are not cheap. And to be honest, I think to get the best use out of these, you really wanna buy them for outdoor use, or at least a much bigger opening than if you were into like an office or maybe even just a living room. It gets way, way too loud for stuff like that, but it is definitely made to be used outdoors. So if you're probably wondering what this is for, it would be for like parties, weddings, uh, tailgating, just again, anything outdoors. But let's go ahead and check out some of these specs and then what you get inside the box. Now these do have Bluetooth 5.0, but they also have XLR connections and then a three and a half millimeter connection as well. Now the three and a half millimeter connection, if you want to, you can plug like a Nintendo Switch into, and you can also daisy chain these together using that cable so that if you're playing audio out of one, you can just link it through a cable and then play them out of both. But the huge advantage to having two is you can also connect them together via Bluetooth. So you can choose to have one as the host and then another one can join. You can actually join up to five speakers. I don't know why you would need five of these speakers. Maybe in case you're just trying to play sound in a football field, maybe these are insanely loud. I, I can say that I've never heard Bluetooth speakers that get this loud. Now, as far as your IP rating, they are IP65, which is important because again, using this outdoors, you want it to be able to be dust resistant and water resistant. And if you use it by a pool and somebody you know splashes it it's going to be fine just make sure that it doesn't topple over into the water itself now moving on to the battery the battery life on this is pretty impressive you really can get somewhere between 35 to 40 hours on a full charge but the battery is a much larger battery that's removable it's swappable um, it even has indicator lights on the battery itself so that you can see how much battery life it has now to charge it, you just simply plug it into the adapter that's included, but you can leave it in the speaker to do that, or you can just completely remove it to charge it. So it's kind of convenient that you can do that. If you have multiple batteries, if you want to charge one while you're using the other one, it's just much easier to use it that way. Now, as far as the materials of the cabinet itself, it's a poplar cabinet. It has an aluminum frame. And then one of the huge advantages to these, especially um, I used to do DJ stuff, so I kind of understand moving these speakers, how rough you can be on them. They have silicone balls on each corner. So if you're kind of dragging it along or you drop it or it hits a corner, those silicone balls are gonna keep you from like damaging the cabinet itself. So I really do like that they added that. And then again, I like the fact that in the aluminum frame, you can see the speakers. So as far as what's behind the aluminum frame, you're getting three 72 watt RMS class D amplifiers. You're getting two 10 inch woofers and then a one inch tweeter. Basically to sum up what that means, this could shake the hell out of a room if you want it to. And that's again why I say it's best suited for outside. To get the most out of this in an outdoor element, you don't have the bass just kind of bouncing off things. You have a lot more room for it to just kind of open up and then it doesn't affect your mids and highs. But if you listen to it in your house, in your room, you're going to feel so much bass. Now I'm not saying like you can't hear the clarity of it, but the bass is so overwhelming, at least for me, indoors, this is way too hard to enjoy. But as soon as you take it outside, it seems like it becomes a completely different speaker. And that is where you start to see where the benefits of having something like this would be. So let's put it this way. The Soundbox 3, the volume knob on it goes all the way up to 11. In the house, at least a comfortable listening level, and then you don't really wanna to go too much further than that, for me anyway, was like at the top end of three. And once it got into four, it became way too much. So if you're buying these to use inside, and if you gauge it by that, you're only gonna be able to use it about 33% of its potential. And then past that, you're not getting the most out of these. But once you start to go outside, you can turn the sound box up and then just fill the outdoor area. It's, it's crazy what one speaker is capable of doing, but it's insane how much more open and how much more dynamic the sound is when you have two speakers 
you know, basically like a stereo left and right setup. It just, again, will cover more area, but that element of adding your left and right audio when you're outdoors, it's kind of cool. It's kind of like being in a sporting event, but what the fun part of this is, is using it like at parties and being able to just dial this thing up as loud as you want. Now, as far as like DJs and people that do weddings and stuff like that, on the bottom of the speakers, it does have the input, like if you have those huge tripod legs, like if you use them for a normal PA system. And even speaking of PA system, it has the XLR inputs that you can just plug a mic directly into these and use it that way as well. So let's put it this way. This speaker is obviously not for everyone and it is not for every situation. But for the situations that this really is geared towards, it's amazing. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. So as far as my cons, I'm going to go back to saying that the bass is just way too overpowering to be used indoors. Um, I think it's pricey, but again, I think for what you would get out of it and for the situations that you can use, I can completely understand justifying the price that way. And one thing I think is a con is I really wish that it had a remote so that you could, you know, control the volume from an actual remote. Now I know you can control the volume from your phone, but to have a remote by the water or by whatever and be able to just kind of adjust it that way, to me at least anyway, would make it more convenient. But overall, it's a fantastic speaker that I am so happy I got to try out and let alone try it times two because to get this kind of experience is not something that for the most part you'll be able to do and a lot of people are not going to sink the money into unless you're into more outdoor stuff or maybe even do DJ stuff. It's really convenient. It's Bluetooth so you can just pull up Spotify on your phone and then just do everything that way. But guys, that is my video on the Soundbox 3. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.